what is up guys back again with another video in today's video i wanted to show you guys my custom rom that i have been running on my nexus 6b called resurrection remix so without further ado let's hop right into it I have been using this ROM for about two to three weeks now and I must say I do really enjoy using this ROM. It does have a lot of customization options. So without further ado, let's hop into settings and see a little bit more information about the ROM. Resurrection Remix version 5.6.7. Um, it was released about a couple months ago, so there is an update. I just haven't had time to update it. Now, I like I said, I have been running it on the Nexus 6P. You can see here I am on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. Like I have mentioned before, this ROM does have a ton, a ton of customizations. As you can see here, it just has a big list of what you can do. We'll go ahead and drop down the notification drawer just to show you guys how we did change the toggles or the quick settings that's the way i do like it that's what it allows me to do so we'll go ahead and take a further look into each category so first up we have the status bar here you're able to change a lot of things up until your actual clock what appears on your status bar whether it be your notification so let's try the clock we'll go ahead and move it to let's move let's move it to the left and you can see there the whole clock did move to the left now we'll go ahead and center it back and you can see there no problem now what you're also able to do is you can even change the color and font size or font style so we'll go ahead and change the font style to uh, thin and you can see there how thin the clock actually got now we'll go ahead and change the clock back to normal let me see if i can go ahead and find it there it is on the top we'll go ahead and toggle it on and there you see how easy it is to customize your status bar now we'll go ahead and hop into the battery bar we'll go ahead and enable it and there you guys go now you can see we have a bar as a battery we'll go ahead and leave that on for the sake of the video now let's hop into the next category Now the next category I do want to talk about is the quick setting panel, which uh, you're able to change a lot of things here. For instance, the quick pull down. You can see I just turned it off. Now we'll turn it back on. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to swipe once and it pulls your whole notification drawer down, which I do like. I actually do prefer that option than having to swipe twice. And we can go ahead and change the number of rows. You can see I do have five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll change it up to, uh, we'll go ahead and enable that on. And now you can see I have two up top and three on the bottom. We'll go ahead and disable it and now you can see it's back to five. Now you're even able to change the actual quick setting colors of your tiles. I tend not to mess with this option a lot since I do run custom themes and it does take care of it pretty well. Um, we'll go ahead and hop into the nav bar. Since I am running the Nexus 6P, it does have on-screen navigation bars. So you can see here, you can even change the bar size. Now what's changing aren't the actual buttons, it's the actual black background of your, um, of your nav bar. So we'll go ahead and change it all the way down to 65. You can go all the way up to 110% if you like. But I personally like leaving it at around 65 to as low as I can get it since it does give me more screen to work with. The next category I do want to talk about are the buttons category. Now if you see here, if I hold down the power button, let me hold it down, I get these options. Power off, reboot, screenshot, screen recorder, airplane, and also flashlight. Now with this custom ROM, you're able to do that. You can do, you can modify it from this category right here. You can also use the power button to end your call. So let's say your proximity sensor isn't working properly and uh, your screen doesn't light up after taking the phone off from your head. You can go ahead and press the power button and it'll go ahead and uh, end the call. The next category we have is recents. Now what recents allows you to do is add, let's say we'll open up the recents and you can see the little trash can there. 
um that allows me to clear all my apps all at once instead of me going one by one how it does on stock i don't really know why they didn't put that uh that feature in to begin with now we'll go ahead and make our way into the lock screen now what this from actually lets you do is add a custom uh lock screen wallpaper different from your home screen wallpaper like i said stock doesn't let you do this as well i'm not too sure why not um but it should be in a stock rom that's just my opinion now with this rom you're also even able to change your animation so let's say you don't like the stock animations you're able to change them from here i tend to leave that alone i i mean i don't really care for animations i do speed up my device a little so i don't really notice them the last category we have on the list is called miscellaneous. Here you have a little bit more information about your kernel. You can go ahead and modify your kernel from here. I tend not to mess with it since my kernel is running perfectly and I don't want to, you know, corrupt it in any way. So yeah. So there you guys have it. This was a small little overview showing you guys the Resurrection Remix. Now I do want to show you guys my battery life. I have been getting exceptional battery life on this device. And with running this ROM, it does help me get through a lot, a lot of heavy usage. As you can see there, my uptime is 16 hours and 47 seconds. That was my last charge since unplugged. Um, it is running at a rate at 1.8 uh, percentage about each hour. So it is draining 1.8% every hour. Um, you can see here there's a little bit more stats on my battery. But um, yeah, this ROM does get me through most of my heavy day usage. So this is why I do like using this ROM a lot. So there you guys have it. This was Resurrection Remix running on the Nexus 6P. If you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Man, good.